let us know in the comments what's going on with your lives any interesting facts anything keeping you happy very important at the minute to stay happy and content we use the words content a lot in the terms of what videos we put out for you guys but being content and being happy with yourself is so crucial especially in times like these that's why we're at the pitch this is where i'm at my happiest shooting free kicks on a 3g today's video is completely different again not been done before billy he's still here with us still persevering with me and my whack shooting is here and we're going to control this ball first and a finish no we're going to do free kicks wherever the ball lands so billy's going to boot the ball well not boot it but kick the ball out of his box wherever it lands outside the box like this is where I'll be taking free kicks from. <laughs> I just want to point out as well that I'm still suffering with a blister on my right foot. <laughs> that is still a thing. But we go again. Now we keep going. Let's get the video done today. Quick demonstration. So we'll start with this one. Obviously we've got to set up the camera every time I'm about to take a free kick because it's going to be moving each time. I'm going to grab the cones as well, so I'm in shot. So this is the angle of the first shot. Setting the camera up like so. I've talked a lot already, I know guys, I'm really sorry. Also, I'm going to give you some secret tips though to help you out with your knuckle free kicks. First angle complete, I'm going to limit it to five shots at each angle. However it lands, yeah, it's gone far a bit to be fair. Looking at 35 yards. So first top tip, when shooting from this angle that we're about to do, try and hit the target. Sounds silly, but with a knuckleball, the movement is so unpredictable if you're hitting a target, chances are the keeper's not going to be able to save it. So first tip, if the distance is far out, try and hit the target. This angle is so far out. Some of these angles I've never shot at before. This is a different one. Angle two complete. Where are we shooting from now, Bill? That's a nice spot. Okay, so for angle three, we've got a bit of a tricky one. We're in a position where the keeper would probably be in this area here. So we would realistically shoot over the wall into this side. So the keeper would be here, where Billy is now. The wall would be in this position. So for this angle and distance, we're looking to do a De Bruyne style technique. Get our foot under the ball and lift it to get the top spin for this corner of the goal. So this free kick style is going to be more of a top spin. That's what I'm aiming for. So the ball will rotate downwards towards the goal as opposed to being dead where it will just glide because we're too close to do the gliding knuckleball. Okay, De Bruyne style knuckleball. Needs more of a straight approach as well. Rather than going so far wide, when we shoot that way, the stance needs to be more straight on to enable us to angle our foot 
Let's get a top spin on the ball. Let's go. That's not bad. Not a bad first attempt. It's getting there. <laughs> So we need to get it a bit higher. We've got enough space in the goal sill to work with. Nice one. And there it is. <laughs> I mean, it took me five attempts to get it perfect, but I can't complain with that. If you guys saw the last video, when I was in my Columbus crew top, the yellow one, you would have seen how disappointed I was. But it's the same day as that video and I'm over the moon right now. I pretty much re-taught myself. I am buzzed with that. And that is the angle we're working with now. Angle number four. We're quite far out here, probably 35 yards. Going to aim for this side of the goal ideally, but at the same time, we're at that distance where as long as if we get it on target and work the keeper, then we're buzzed. So angle four, let's just aim to hit the target and see if Billy can deal with it. Right, moving on to the fifth and final angle now. Let's see where Billy's gonna place it. Oh, okay, we're moving round the box. This is a nice angle here. There we go. A bit more over to the right than angle four. Quick tip for this angle, when we're striking the ball across our body essentially. I run up again, it's nice and straight. We get to this position here and we're striking our foot almost through and over the ball. Still working on cancelling the follow through, but rather than it being open and then cancelling it, we're striking the ball and our foot is coming over the ball essentially. So just imagine when you're striking the ball that you're making contact here and rather than opening out like we would our foot is going to go over the ball as we aim for the left side of the goal oh it's filming shout out gourmet goal so we're finally getting on with the first attempt standing over the ball nice and straight a bit to the right as opposed to being over here run up as normal on your toes high knees striking the ball, foot across, aiming for the left side of the goal. There we go, hitting the target. Right, so I'm going to leave you two more tips before we go. Secret tips more than anything. Won't get this anywhere else. So this is a superstitious fin. Every time I do a knuckleball free kick, depending on the football, I will place it the same every time. So ever since that Hater Smith video with the new bounce ball, I've always placed a ball like this because I got a good free kick with the logo facing this way. You guys that have been with us for ages will know 
that I scored my real or fake goal with an Asante football like this. And ever since that real or fake goal, I will always set up the ball like this. The MLS Jabulani, more recently I've shot with the Adidas logo right in the camera lens. You'd have seen that from our recent free kicks, especially the Columbus Crew sesh when I was in the yellow top and I shot every free kick with that logo and some of the movement was ridiculous. Didn't get any goals, but the movement was there and that's enough for me to keep it that way for now. So yeah, penultimate tip. Sometimes it can be a superstitious thing, but it might give you the edge in confidence mentally as you're approaching the ball. Okay, so we're here at the last tip. I don't know if I've ever told you this before, guys, but basically when you strike a knuckleball free kick, it hurts a lot on this part of your foot. Comment down below if you struggle with that kind of pain because it is an absolute killer, especially when you're doing hour, two hour, three hour free kick sessions. You can even see the marking on my sock as to where I'm striking the ball. Here's a tip for that though. I've always done this wearing ankle guards underneath my football socks and another pair of socks to give me that extra protection because otherwise it is so painful doing that repetitive kicking action, striking the ball here if you haven't got this bit of extra padding. So these are a bit tacky now because I've worn them for ages. But a little tip, wear some ankle guards, protect yourself. Obviously don't wear the shin pads as well, but wear some ankle guards and that will give you a bit of extra protection when you're striking the ball. There it is, nice and sore from today's sesh. Top comments you will see now, appreciate all the comments you guys give us. And if you're still watching the video, that is amazing. So thank you so much for that. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. Not the best sessions today in terms of goals, but we go again next time. Hopefully some better knuckleballs for you guys. You're putting a good shift today, mate. Meal deal. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know your thoughts. If you have any maybe myths or secret tips to do with a knuckleball free kick and we'll test them out for you. That's what we're all about, listening to you guys and giving you what you want to see. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe if you're new and we'll see you next time. Knuckle it.